welcome or welcome back to the channel. I know you're like, Janae, what is going on with your hair? Taking it out right now. Today's vlog is going to be apartment hunting. I will explain more about like me moving and all of that in a little bit, but right now I am, oh, I'm so glad that worked. I had to put clips on it to pull them down because they were a little too shrunk up for my liking, but I think my hair is so freaking cute. I love it. I love it, y'all. I'll show you a better look later. It's like a cute little half up, half down flexi rod set with the two little adorable. On the natural hair, yes, babe. But anywho, running into my first apartment tour appointment. First impressions, right? It's gated, so love that. Cause for me, you gotta have a gate. You gotta have a gate. It's Atlanta, you gotta have a gate. That don't even really mean much still, but at least at least it gives me a little bit of comfort. I got a gate. And it doesn't look too bad. It looks kinda nice. So we'll see what the inside's looking like, you know. And I'll kinda keep notes after each apartment, because I think I'm seeing three today. After each apartment, I will let you guys know like what I'm looking at, pros and cons, what I look for in an apartment. Just like I got my lashes done yesterday. Like lashes done, hair done, and the outfit's cute. Like I love it, I love it. We love to see it. She's put together. She got her water. And Paris is behind me. It's like 9.26, my appointment's 9.30. Check in, get the tour started. And like I said, I'll explain to you guys a little bit more about why I'm moving or when I'm moving and all of that after this first appointment. I just need to get in there. So I just ran in and checked in. I opted to do the self-guided tour so that I could show you guys and talk through it while I'm in there without it being awkward. <laughs> Typically, I prefer a guided tour, but I'm just gonna have to write out my questions down and ask when I get back to the office. No guarantee that it will be this way. Oh shoot, I just passed the... <laughs> Tell me I don't live here without telling me I don't live here. Oof, can I reach? I don't think I can reach. <laughs> Boo. I'm about to just go through the gate that's open because what is that and why is it happening? I have no idea what that was about. So what I really like about this complex is that it has private garages. Like it's more of a townhouse setup. That's what I would prefer. I want a townhouse, but in Atlanta, a lot of the townhouses are like for sale. You have to buy them. There's not a lot that you can like rent out in a complex. Okay, it's gonna be angel like. So I'm gonna call my mother and kind of show her them with, it'll be like a double. I'm vlogging, but I'm also talking to my mama. So I guess I'll go over now, like some of the main things that even get me in the door to tour an apartment, right? For this place specifically, private garages, love that. I'm looking to upgrade to a two bed. It could still have one bath or two baths, doesn't really matter to me. I just really want a dressing room. So I have one bedroom right now and I'm looking for a two bedroom. A balcony, preferably hardwood floors. I really like an island, dishwasher, washer dryer, like that kind of stuff. So as I'm going through this one, I'll also be able to kind of point out what drew me here. I'm like, look at my hair, right? Isn't it cute? I love it, yeah. It's like, and let me see the back, it's like. Yeah, so the laundry room is in the garage. So nice, big, two-car garage. Got a little hall closet here. So this is the living room. It's kind of small. I'm like, can my couch fit here? It does look small. Pretty good lighting. Let's go see. Yeah. So yeah, this is the other view of the living room. Here is the first bedroom. Yeah, nice, really big windows. There's a bathroom in here. Here's me. So this is what it looks like. I like the countertops, they're nice. Cabinets, light, tub. Oh, this is the closet. Oh, and there's some more shelves over here too. That was in there. Yeah, now we're coming back out. You go up these little stairs. This would be the dining room. Yeah, like the stairs are separation. This is the dining room. Those are the lights. Yeah, and then this is the kitchen over here. I like how the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. That's something that, you know, I've started noticing. Dishwasher, the stove, built-in microwave. Like the kitchen is a little small, but it's not bad. I like that there's like a little island. Fridge would be here. 
and a little small pantry too. So then we go up the stairs again, and this is a bathroom. The other one was inside the room. This one is like, it's okay Paris, I'm right here. This one would be like the guest one because it's not connected to the room. To come into this bedroom back here, yeah. But like this one doesn't have the walk-in closet, but there's two closets. So there's one there and one here. Most of it is still carpet. You know, the balcony's a good size. The bedrooms are a good size, but only one of them has a walk-in closet. So that's like, eh. The kitchen is cute. It's small, but it's cute. It's, it's a cute little setup. Not in love with it though. What do you think, Ferris? So you still get your own garage, but not a private entrance to your unit. It's like a hallway. The difference between the last unit and this one is that this one does not have like the private entrance from your garage to your unit. Like you still get your own garage, but then you gotta go upstairs or up the elevator. There's a hallway and you enter, whatever, like that. But let's take a look at the floor plans. The front door, come in. There's like a nice little entryway here. So you've got a bathroom automatically right here. This is your laundry room. And then you've got a hall closet right here. And then there is a bathroom right here. We can go into the bathroom from the bedroom side, I guess. Um, so when you come out this way, back to like the main space. Okay, this is nice. You've got your dining room right here. This is already like bigger than the other unit. I can tell. You got a really nice big window right there. You're getting, getting lots of light, so I like that. No island in this kitchen, but the kitchen is bigger. So, dishwasher still, double sink, come out here, fridge, stove, microwave, all that good jazz. I like these lights here over the dining room. This is a nice big living room space, so I like that. I feel like I don't even have enough furniture to fill this. <laughs> But nice big space. Um, let's go into the bedroom where the bathroom was before. So this is the bedroom. That's the bathroom we saw before. This is one closet. I like the built-ins that they give you as an option. That's nice. It's a walk-in closet. Bathroom. Again, y'all, I just feel so cute today. Like, the hair is giving. You've got a little linen closet here and the showers, not too keen on the showers. Bedroom's not a bad size, I love the big windows, so that's a plus. So then you come over to this side here, and you've got the balcony right here. It's a pretty good size, like big balcony. This is the other bedroom over here, great lighting. You've got another walk-in closet. No built-ins in this one, but nice walk-in closet. Good bathroom. I, I, I like, this bathroom is so cute. Like, I really do like the bathroom. Shower area, toilet, probably, yeah. A linen closet, but this one's a little bigger. Oh, there's Paris. We could chat about how I feel about it. This size unit better, but I like the idea of having the private garage and entrance to the apartment. That was the whole purpose of me wanting to look at this place because they had private garages. Floor plan kind of takes away from that, but it's a lot bigger. In terms of budget, it's a little pricier than I really want, but I wanted to just take a look and kind of see what's there because it's in the area that I really like. Great lighting overall. The ceilings are really high. The appliances are nice. Would I move here? I'm not feeling it. Pro probably not. I think I don't have a lot of questions because I'm not really thinking I'd move here. They said they have a bark park. I wonder where that is. I think I had a lot of questions the first time because that was really my first time looking at an apartment, but now that that I kind of know the, the deal. Majority of these apartments are the same. Like, they offer the same features, services, whatever. They may look different, but generally, they're the same. Clips are back on, because they were starting to shrink back up again. Your girl is hungry, I'm hungry. So I don't 
have time to get food right now though. I'm 10 minutes away. I just, it's it's 10.45, my appointment's at 11, so I just don't have time to stop. Otherwise, I would've went to like Starbucks or something. This is a place I actually looked at when I first toured apartments when I was looking to move to Atlanta, like almost two years ago, which is crazy. Like, mind blowing. And just kinda see how I feel about it. I think I'm gonna really like it, but I wanna take another look at it. So I have an appointment at 11 and an appointment at 2 at another complex. My lease really isn't up until June so I'm looking early just to kind of get an idea of what's there because I do have to give my complex a 60 day notice if I'm moving out. By end of March I need to know what I'm doing and where I'm going <laughs> so it doesn't feel as rushed. I wanted to give myself some time. I started kind of thinking about it a little bit towards the tail end of last year but I was like, you know, when January comes around, that's when I'll do my tours and then kind of start thinking about it more. So it was in my head, but in the back. And now it's a little more in the forefront, trying to figure out what is my next step. Time frame of when I'm probably gonna move would be like June. However, the purpose, the reason I wanted to move out of my current complex, because I like it, but I felt like I wanted to upgrade. Like I could be in a nicer complex, even though it's like still nice, you know, but also wanted two bedrooms. And so kind of what I started realizing though is trying to get an upgrade and trying to get two bedrooms is a little lot for your girl. It's a little lot. So, I, and I don't want to live above my means. I could afford it, but I'm trying to save to get a house. So I don't want to like go and ball out on an apartment when I'm trying to save to get a townhouse, you know? So that's why I'm like, let me be a little more conservative with the apartment I'm going to get because I'm really just trying to be in an apartment for like a year or so, work for like a year at my full-time position and then buy something. Like I said, my lease was supposed to end in June and I was going to move in June. However, I also was looking in my current complex just to see what those two bedroom units looked like that would be more affordable. When I went to look, I think that was Tuesday? I went to look in my complex and like talk to the office, let them know what I'm thinking, blah, 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 and find out like if it's possible to transfer a lease or if I, you know, gotta wait all the way till June to get a new unit, whatever, I wanted to know what my options were. So, come to find out, I can transfer really at any point. It's the most upgraded building in the complex and there's currently one two bedroom unit available in that in that building. I really liked it, you know, like the whole purpose of me wanting to move out of the complex was to get an upgrade. So if I can get an upgrade and stay in the complex, that would be easier and more affordable. That is the most desirable unit building in the complex because it's the most upgraded and he does not know when there will be another one available. Now there are one bedrooms available in there, but they're smaller than my current one bedroom. So it's like, if I want to be in that building, I gotta jump on it now. And also, it's cheaper right now than it would be in June, even if it was available in June, which probably wouldn't be. It kinda just fell together, you know? Which would mean, instead of me moving in June, I'm moving like, possibly next week. Like, I don't know, you know, it could be very, very soon. I don't know, your girl could be moving very, very soon or in six months like I originally planned. We're kind of just gonna see. Think like, I kind of wanted that this time. Paris, stay in your seat. What's the matter? Um, she, she trying to jump out, I don't know why. Paris, Paris, sit, sit. Is that your in there? No. Let me go look at her. I don't like. Does she need to go to the bathroom again? She just oh, peed. Okay. Maybe she has to poop. Let me see. Because I'm like, why is she? I think what it is with this lighting is because I'm wearing white. Starts. I thought I was gonna like that a lot more than I did. Like I didn't really like it too much, to be honest. Part of me is saying like, maybe that's just because I'm supposed to stay in my complex and that's why I'm not really liking anything else. I'm gonna head home for a little. Probably gonna try to stop by my leasing office and ask them if there's any update. I'm at the other tour. Just walked in. It's the front door. This would be like the dining area. And then you come this way and you have the kitchen. So you've got a nice island, and that would be like the living room area. So nice island, granite countertops, double sink, dishwasher, pantry over here. And this is the kitchen. 
nice appliances. So this way, yeah, a little coat closet. So like a little built-in desk area here. And then you've got built-in shelving here. That's probably like where your TV entertainment area goes. This is the other wall. It's got a nest for the vinyl flooring. This bedroom's got a built-in. Oh, this is like really big. <laughs> this is nice. Bedroom, big windows. Got a nice big closet over here. So this is probably the master just because it's like, it's huge. Laundry room is in here. And then you've got really nice big bathroom, double sink, so shower and tub, toilet. You've got a linen closet in here. So really big, that's one. It's huge. Yeah, got a storage unit here, so that's nice. I love this view, like, this is not, I actually really like this, y'all, this is nice. Another nice bathroom, not as big, but it's still really nice. I love these huge mirrors. Another linen closet. This is the other bedroom, so I think this one is a little smaller, but still really nice big closet. That is the unit, y'all. It's really nice. This specific one doesn't have great lighting. From touring a bunch of places, that always just depends on like where in the building you are, what time of day it is, and whatever. I don't know how I feel about like location in the community as a whole, but the unit is nice. So let me call my mom and show her, see what she thinks about it. So y'all just saw the last complex that I was looking at. And to be honest, like those are pretty much are all of the complexes I had in mind to move if I was gonna be moving out of my complex. And I'm not really sold on any of them. I went into the office at my complex and was like, hey, you know, any update? Like, I want the unit. So what do, like, what do you need from me to get me in that unit? Was kind of making it sound like it could be this weekend as in like today slash tomorrow. And I have three days max to move. But I'm going to Home Depot so that I can get like some packing materials, whether that's like boxes, bubble wrap, dolly thing, maybe. I'm in Home Depot now, my camera battery died. I just throw this to y'all because it's pink bubble wrap. 